Hey y'all, welcome to Homemade the Hoodway and today I'm going to be showing y'all some cheesy goodness with my chicken quesadilla. This meal is quick and easy to prepare. We'll be using bell pepper and onion, complete seasoning, seasoned salt, garlic and onion powder, pepper, some butter, olive oil, our sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce, my chicken of choice are tenderloins, and tortillas to hold everything together. And I'll show y'all my cheese of choice once we start preparing the quesadilla. Let's get started, y'all. First thing we're gonna do is preheat our pans. Our quesadilla pan will be on a low heat and our chicken pan will be on a medium to medium low heat. For our veggies, I'm only gonna use about a fourth of our bell pepper. So I'm just gonna dice this up. You can use whatever color bell pepper you want. I just happen to have a rare one on hand. Next, I'm gonna dice up our onion. I'll be using roughly about the same amount of onion as I use for bell pepper. Now it's time to season our tenderloins. Yes, I'm using the same cutting board and there's no need to rinse it prior to placing and seasoning the meat. Because we are using five seasonings, we want to lightly coat each side of the chicken. Could I have just used a couple of seasonings? Sure, but this seasoning combo is great on chicken and gives it a wonderful flavor. I love using tenderloins because they cook quickly and are juicy. We're gonna carry our tenderloins over to our preheated pan. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil and then spread it around. Once this is spread pretty evenly, we're gonna add our chicken and cook it about three and a half minutes per side. <laughs> Now that our chicken is done, we're going to take that out and set it to the side. We're going to add our veggies directly to the same pot so that they can soak up some of those flavors, some of that same seasoning. And we're going to just cook those until they are tender, maybe about three to four minutes. While the veggies are sauteing, we'll add some butter to our quesadilla pan. This will help our tortillas to turn that beautiful golden brown and have a nice crisp. And y'all, here is my cheese of choice. Tillamook Mexican Four Cheese. Y'all, this cheese is so good. We're going to spread this as evenly as possible on our quesadilla. There's no perfect way to do this here. You can add as little or as much cheese as you would like. Our vegetables are done, so we are going to remove them from the heat. While our cheese is melting, we are now going to cut up our chicken. The reason I didn't cut up the chicken earlier is because I liked for the chicken to maintain its juice. So I do give it a period of time to rest. That way I hold on to all of those juices because we do not want a dry quesadilla. Now you can cut your chicken into strips or you can just simply pull it apart. It's totally up to you how you would like to dice your chicken. I chose to cut my chicken into strips because this chicken is still hot and I also want my chicken to be pretty thick. Now that the chicken is diced, we are going to add it to our beautifully melted cheese, making sure that all of the chicken is spread out on our tortilla. Then we're gonna to top it with our veggies. We want to spread them around as evenly as possible so we get some in every bite. And to that, we're gonna add what? That's right, more cheese, y'all. Once our second layer of cheese is added to that, we'll add our second tortilla to complete our quesadilla. I use my hand to flip the quesadilla, but if you have small hands or are simply afraid to make a mess, you can use a plate to flip it. But while it's flipped in my hand, I'm gonna add more butter, then place it in our pan to melt the cheese and crisp the other side. Y'all, this could be ate for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and it's kid approved, even with the veggies. Once the other side is ready, I'm gonna cut it up and it's what time? Time to eat. A super fast and delicious meal. I love to pair this with barbecue sauce, but you can use ranch, sour cream, or any other sauce of your choice. Look at this beauty. I'm finna dig in. But as I always say to all of my cooks out there, even if you're brand new, after you've made this meal, remember to add chef to the front of your name because baby, you are a chef today. I appreciate you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe this video as it helps my channel to grow, and I'll see y'all in the next video.